In today's video, we're going to be making ourselves some cool green screen effects using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll just give you a quick ex example of what we're going to be making today. It's just a quick seven second video of a zombie walking towards the screen with a few explosions in the background. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Not much to it, so it shouldn't take us too long to make. Uh, now, as I said before, we're going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro to make this video, so I'll need you to go to your menu now and open up Premiere Pro. My computer's a little bit slow, so hopefully this doesn't take too long to load up. Alright, so in Premiere Loads, you're going to get your start screen like this. What I need you to do is just go down to the left-hand side here and make a new project. Up the top where it says name, I want you to give it the name Green Screen Explosions. And for the location, choose wherever you want to save it on your computer. Okay, if you're in my class at school, make sure you save that onto your USB. All right, once you're done, click on OK. And Premiere will load up. Okay, first thing I want you to do is just choose the Assembly tab at the top here. And you can see on the left hand side we've got this big box that tells us to import media to start. So what I'm going to do is go back to my finder here and what I want to do is bring in all the clips that we're going to need to make this video work. Alright, so what I've done is I've gone onto YouTube and I've looked up some free green screen uh, video clips that I can download and use in my project. So what I've got is the angry zombie that walks towards me, so select that. I've got two explosions, there's two different ones there. And I also want this desert road. That's going to be our backdrop that just sits on the um, back of the screen there. Once you've selected those four files, pick them up and drag them over to the left side of Premiere and drop them into this box. They should only take a second to load in because they are pretty small files. Once you've got these four files into Premiere, I'm going to click on all panels up the top here. Okay, that way we can see our workspace a little bit better. Now the first thing we want to bring into our timeline down here to get our movie started is our backdrop or our background and that's the desert road. Okay, so all you need to do from your library is just pick it up and drag it into your timeline. Okay, and then your desert road appears. Now desert road is stationary obviously, it's not going to move, it's just going to sit there as if the camera is sitting on a tripod filming this desert scene. All the action is going to take place around it. So the first thing we want to bring into this desert scene is the zombie that walks towards us. Okay, so over here in our library, we've got the angry zombie. I want you to double click on that little purple and green icon next to it. And when you double click on it, what that does is brings it up in your preview window over here. Now you can press play and have a look at this clip. Now because I've downloaded it off YouTube, there are some ads at the start here advertising the mob that made it. We don't want that in our shot. Okay, what we want is just this zombie walking towards the camera. So what we're going to have to do is chop out those bits we don't need. So, scrubbing along the timeline here, what I'm going to do is just go back to the start of this clip when that text disappears. Okay, once he's fully appeared on the page, something like that, it's a pretty good point. So about 10 seconds into this clip, what I'm going to do is hover over this little curly brace here that says Mark In, and just press it. And that marks the start of the clip uh, that we're going to bring into our timeline in just a sec. Okay, all this stuff before it has been chopped out now. We're just going to start from this point in the clip. Now using the little playhead here, I'm going to scrub again through my timeline until he disappears. Now the moment he disappears, the green screen should reappear. It's not going to happen. So about that point. So about 17.22 seconds in is the end point. So over the other curly brace here, the right curly brace, it's the mark out position. So mark the out position of that clip. And you can see now we've just got this small section highlighted in our preview box here. That's the section of the clip we're going to be using. Just the zombie walking towards the camera. We don't need anything else after it. It just adds. Okay, so with the mark in and the mark out points selected, what you can do is just click on this clip anywhere and pick it up and drag it. So click and drag over to your timeline and your angry zombie now appears on the page. Okay, you can scrub through and see him walking towards the camera. Simple as that. Just notice that our desert road doesn't go for quite as long as our zombie clip. So what I'd do is just pick up your desert road. So just hover around the end of it there until your arrow, uh, sorry, your mouse cursor turns red, and just stretch that clip out so it's level with the zombie walking. Okay. So as I said before, if you press play, you'll see the zombie walking towards the camera. 
The issue being, obviously, the green screen is in the way of our background now. We can't see what's behind this zombie. So what we're going to do is get rid of this green screen using the ultra key effect in Premiere. Okay, so up along the top panel here, go across until you find the word effects. And just click on the word effects once. And you should see some effects, effects appear down the side of your page. Instead of going through all the folders trying to find the effect that we're after, I'm just going to click on this little search bar here. And I'm just going to write in the word ultra key. When you type in the word ultra key up there, look down a little bit and under the video effects folder and then keying you will see the ultra key effect now the ultra key effect is basically another name for chroma key and that's the green screen effect that we're going to be using in our clip today so with this ultra key effects selected pick it up drag it down to your timeline and drop it on top of the angry zombie file okay now it doesn't look like it does anything but if you go across to your effect controls over here on the left hand side you're going to notice that you've got this ultra key effect added onto this clip. Okay, so just expand it so you can see all the settings underneath. The setting we're looking for is the key color effect here. Now the key color is basically saying what color do you want to remove from this clip. So it's a pretty obvious one. We want to remove this bright fluoro green from the clip. So the way we do that is we pick up the eyedropper by clicking on it once coming over to our clip here and clicking anywhere that it's green. So as soon as I click this green, it disappears. You can see over here on the left now that our key color is that bright fluoro green. So it's removed that color from our movie clip and we've now got the background shining through. So if I was to play this clip, the zombie looks legit. He's walking up the road. Okay, so that's looking really good. Next thing we need to do is bring in some explosions. And it's a pretty similar um, process to what we just did. I'm going to go back up the top here, so I'm going to go off effects and go back to all panels again. And in all panels, I can see my library of clips again. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for explosion number one. Here it is here. Just double click on the little purple and green section there. And if you scrub through this clip, you're going to see the explosion. Okay, That's the example. We don't want that. What we want is the green screen effect. So that bit there. Okay, we don't want that bit, don't want that bit with the writing on it, we don't want the add at the end. Okay, we just want that green screen effect. Okay, so let's find where it starts, so about there, and mark our end point. So hit that left curly brace. Keep scrubbing through with the playhead until you see that finish, which is about there. About the 11.17 mark and hit your mark out position. So you can see again, what we've got here is the little section of this clip that we're going to use in our timeline. Now before I drag that in, there's some audio associated with this clip. Okay, Down here, we've got an audio track attached to the zombie, but there's no sound with it. So what I'm going to do is just delete this audio track. The way we do that is we need to right click first of all on the angry zombie clip and unlink the video and the audio layer. Whoops. Once they're unlinked, just click on the audio layer down here and just press delete on your keyboard. So that keeps the video or the uh, video track there, but deletes the audio that went along with it. Okay, so now we are ready to bring in this explosion. So pick it up from your preview window, bring it down to your timeline here and just drop it in on the third video layer. All right, so that's looking pretty good. If you wanted to, you can bring that audio up to audio layer one, so it's a little bit closer. All right, now if we press play, you're going to see the explosion appear. But again, that green screen's in the way. So what we need to do is ultra key that green out of the shot. So same process as before. Go to the effects tab up the top. Come over here. We've already got ultra key in our box here. So there's the ultra key effect. Just pick it up, drag it down, and drop it on that top layer, which is the explosion one layer. Once you've dropped it on, come over to your effect controls over here, find this key color, hit the little eyedropper, and remove that green by clicking on the green once. Okay, There's a few slight tinges of green around there, and if you want to be fussy, you could get in there and uh, really get that out of there, but I'm not going to be too fussy in this shot, because we're going to put the explosion in the background over here. Alright, so let's just play that and we'll see how it's looking. 
Looks pretty cool. That wouldn't look too bad behind the zombie there. But what we're going to do is push it off to the side. So with our Explosion 1 video still selected, what we're going to play with now is the motion effects. So back up here, expand your motion effects. And we're going to play around with the position and the scale. Okay, I'm just going to move my playhead back to about here so I can see a majority of the explosion. And I'm going to go over to the position. Okay, and if I move this 640 left and right just by clicking and dragging, you can see I can change the position of that explosion. So I'm going to move it to the right and put it over that side. And if I move the 360 next to it, to the left it goes up, to the right it goes down. Obviously you want to move it up so it's in the background. It's still a bit too big, so that scale option below it. Instead of 100, just drag it to the left, make it a bit smaller. Yeah, that size is good. We might need to bring this back down. Just play around with its position until you're happy with where that explosion is going to occur. So about there looks pretty good. So now when I play my clip, let's have a look at how this is going. That looks pretty legit. You can just see the green screen a little bit, but it's not too bad. Okay. Now what I want what, now what I want to do, I don't want that smoke to just disappear at the end there. So we've got the smoke there and then all of a sudden it just disappears. So what I'm going to do is just move this explosion along my timeline so it finishes with the rest of the video. Just like so. Alright, so that's not too bad. Um now, I did see that smoke on top of the zombie's head then. You can just see it there. What we're going to have to do is move the explosion down a layer and the angry zombie up a layer. But we'll do that in a moment. Okay. What we're going to bring in next is the second explosion. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to all panels again up the top here. And basically, the second explosion is done the same way we just did that first explosion. So first of all, double click on the little purple and green icon next to explosion 2 so it comes up in your preview window. Scrub through until you find the green screen. There it is. So there's the green screen. I'm going to mark the endpoint, play the animation. And the endpoint's about there, so about the 59. About the 59 second mark, and I'm going to mark the out point. When I pick this up now, you can see I've got no video layers left. I've got video layer 1, 2, and 3 all filled up. But in Premiere, you can have many, many video layers, okay? So all you need to do is pick it up and drag it down, and it will make itself another layer. Okay, so there we go. We've got video 4 layer now in our timeline. So there's our explosion. Obviously, you want to get rid of that green screen first. So let's go back up the top to our effects. Look for the Ultra Key option and drag that down on top of the explosion too video track there. Okay. And with that still selected, pop over to your video effects here or your effect controls and you can see the ultra key effect. Go down and find key color. Pick up your eyedropper and click on the green somewhere. Okay, and you can see now we've got our explosion just appearing on top of our little zombie at the moment. So what we're going to need to do with explosion 2 still selected is go to the motion controls. Just like before, I don't know if you'll have to make it too much smaller, but what we're going to do is move its position. So I'm going to move it over that way. I'll move it up, up a bit. And yeah, we're going to have to make it a bit smaller. Just so it looks realistic. Alright, so that's not looking too bad. Let's have a look at how that explosion goes. looks good. The only issue with this explosion is it's in slow motion. Okay, that zombie's walking way too quick for this to work. So let's speed this explosion up. So on the explosion 2 layer, just right click on it and you'll have an option for speed and duration. Simply make it 200%. That's going to double its speed. Click OK. And again, just move it over the timeline so it finishes when the zombie finishes, about there. Alright, so let's have a look at it now. I'll watch the whole seven seconds. That 
looks a bit better. All right. So it's just that very end bit. If I just scroll back here, you can see that the smoke is still on top of the zombie's face. So we need that zombie on the top layer. So let's see if it's as easy as picking it up, and dragging it above the explosion there. And I might just bring these explosions down onto the video 1 and video 2 layers. The zombie down onto video... Oh, sorry, video 4. Let's have a look at the end of that now. The zombie should be on top of all the smoke, which he is. That looks a lot nicer. All right. So we've almost got a finished... Um, finished video here. You can see this audio track down here is on audio layer 4. We've only got one track of audio at the moment so it can be brought up to audio layer 2. So you can see the A2 there is audio layer 2. Alright, so I'll just watch this one last time. We might watch it in full screen and we'll zoom into a hundred percent here. Looks good. Looks good. Not a bad little video. All right, so now that we're done, it would be worthwhile to go up to your file menu and save it, or just press Control S, Command S if you're on a Mac, and that will save your project, but it doesn't save your video, or it doesn't export your video. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go back to your file menu and go down to Export here. You wanna export media. Now just before you do that, make sure you click off everything in your timeline. So click in this empty space out here. If you just select one of these clips and export it, it's just going to export that one clip. We want to export the whole movie, so make sure you've clicked off everything. All right, so now you can go up to your file menu, go down to export and select media. We'll just press Control or Command M. Now hopefully my computer's not too slow here. Okay, now the export settings box will appear. Basically, you want the format to be H.264. And that's about all you need to change there. Down in the output name, it's in blue here. I just want you to click on that. And this is going to let you rename your file and choose a location to save it. Okay, so that's in my green screen explosions folder. I'll just give it the name zombie and explosions. You can call it whatever you want. Um, that's going to save it. It's an MP4 file, which is what we want. Click save. Last thing you need to do now, just go down the bottom and click on export. And make sure you're saving that onto your USB if you're in my class. Okay, that way we can save room in our accounts. So when we click export, that shouldn't take too long at all to export. Mine's going to take what, all of 15 seconds. So it's a pretty quick video. Okay, done. That's exported. So now if I go over that folder, here it is here, zombie and explosions. I'll just press spacebar to preview that. There we go. We've got our green screen effects looking really good. So it's pretty easy to use those green screen effects. You can download backgrounds and explosions and all sorts of things. Even like on a dinosaurs and star troopers are popular choices on YouTube. Um, so feel free to get on there and download some of them to incorporate them into your movies or find a green screen of your own and try and include yourself in them, which would be even cooler. All right, so that's going to do us for this video. Make sure you've saved everything and show the teacher when you are done.